trips to the red zone, uh, one touchdown. Uh, frustrated about, obviously, about that. Anything that you could bring on what was going on there? Yeah, I mean, I can absolutely see it. You know, um, I don't think penalties helped um, on some of them. Uh, but talking about the red zone and all that, like everything is just frustrating right now. You know, I didn't expect it to go this way. I didn't feel like it was going to go this way all during the game at any point. Um, all the way up until the last, you know, once a couple seconds. So uh, everything just pretty frustrating when you look at, especially that. When you've been in that situation so many times this year, do you feel like it's done? We're going to do this again, just like we absolutely, did. just like I always do. And um, everyone on the sidelines, like, oh, we're going to score, you know. And we believed it. We went down there. It just sucks when you get in that situation. You, I mean, you just got to throw the ball. You got to try and, you know, throw it into the end zone and try and get some hands on. You know, they're going to get close or. You know, the play before that, I threw the inside route to Zay, or two plays before. There's three bodies in there. It's just at that time, you've got to get the ball in the end zone. And it sucks that it comes down to something like that. You know, I wish I wish it didn't. I wish we would execute a little bit better earlier on so it didn't come down to that. But going down the field, we have full confidence. What did you see in the last play along with the interception? What did you see? Yeah, there, I mean, the hook player was, you know, right there near the hash. And, I mean, it's a swirl route, so he's coming back in. It's going to be a tight. I mean, it's going to be hands everywhere, you know. And uh, I just tried to throw it hard to where the guy wouldn't catch it. He made a great catch, but it uh, sucks, man. Just m- trying to throw it away from the safety, move the safety, and give Zay a chance to win the game. And uh, he ran, you know, he did his best, ran a great route. And, but I can't not say 50, 57 made a great play. I mean, he great, made a great catch. Eric, we've said you felt like you guys improved on and off the field this year. But it's probably hard to focus on that right now. But you feel like that sort of thing can help build a foundation. Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, I've been in this situation before. Um, and after the 2016 season, especially because I broke my ankle, you know, there was like so much like, oh, we're going to do everything now, you know. And that's fine. Um, but I think we came back a little arrogant. I think we came back a little pompous. And uh, we didn't work the same, you know. And uh, we arguably had a more talented team. And so the, the drive now is to, is to make sure that that doesn't happen. Because I've experienced that, and to make sure that doesn't happen, so we do keep going forward. Now that we've experienced this, you get out there and play. You're like, oh my gosh, this is not different. Like you, you know, you don't know until you play it. You know, in playoff game, but you get out there and you're like, oh yeah, we can do this. And so you get a taste of it, and it, I don't know, it did something to my heart, man. I thought I was on fire, but it made me even more just. I just can't not play in the playoffs. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, so we'll make sure that we keep our head on straight. Um, a lot of accolades for a lot of guys this year, and you know, a lot of people are going to pat us, pat us on the back and all that kind of stuff. I uh, hopefully, hopefully, we just keep that edge to us, you know, um, because I, I think that's the difference in this team uh, than in the past teams I've been on. Is that we have an edge to us and a belief in us that we really can do anything. But the Bengals beat us today, and we came up short today. As this season, this wild season comes to an end, are you able to have a major takeaway in the moment? Here? Not yet. Um, honestly, I'm just trying to hold back emotion because I didn't plan on that happening. You know, I didn't expect it to have to go that way. I just felt so confident in the game, game plan. And so it's just hard right now. Uh, but looking at the season, um, you definitely have some pieces there. Um, it'll be, uh, be interesting to see what happens. You know, uh, who, you know, who do we, who do you keep? Who do you add? You know, who stays? All that kind of stuff. Just in the performance that he's done, and you feel like he's the right guy. I think we can all think that he's the right guy. I, I, not just one player, not just one side, but everybody. You know, um, he's proven. Uh, you know that he he people listen to him, and not just people, but our team listens to him. Uh, you know, and I, I love him so much. I'm thankful for him. Um, all of those things will be. Decisions that I don't, I don't make. I don't get to make. You know, I just play quarterback and uh, do my best to complete every pass. Um, but I think that with everything that went on, if you really look at what happened, all all the pieces missing, um, everything that changed, everything. Yeah, he held it together. You know, you know, we we, we lose two linemen, boom, like that. You, know, you lose your starting receiver. You lose your. T- Number one target. You lose Josh sometimes. You, you, Kenyon's gone. You, you go on and on and on and on. That's just offense, right? And the fact that that staff kept everything together and kept us competitive and kept us winning, finding ways to win football games, 
I think that's what our organization is about, right? Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we know what we want to have happen, um, you know, but again, you know, we're Raiders. You know, we, we're going to play uh, football, uh, but we just hope it, you know, obviously we hope it's for somebody special. I know you said you were confident and Rich said the same thing. Going into that two-minute drill at the end of the game, what, what's your message to the guys and what do you feel about Oh, I looked at Andre. I said, "Pick him up, and we'll win the game." He looked at me and said, "Shred him." <laughs> you know, like that's usually what goes on. And uh, we went down the field, got the passer or the uh, rough in the passer uh, off the check off the check down to Josh. They didn't cover. Can you know the people who make the decision? Yeah, I mean, I, one thing that I, you know, my agent has a great relationship. Um, I think he does. I think that they would say that we do a good job of communicating, um, you know, back and forth about a lot of things. You know, and Lord knows there's been a lot of things to communicate about, right? Um, and I, I think that, you know, when the time comes, I never want to face to face, you know, do that. I'm going to play quarterback, you know, uh, but my message will be talked about. You know, and they'll talk about it, and they can do what they want and all that kind of stuff. You know, they're always honest and uh, forthright. So I'm not going to go and have dinner and say we have to do something. I, I'm not that guy. You know, let my voice be heard, but that guy. You know, let my voice be heard, but in a different way. There there was... Uh, it's unbelievable. It's hard to explain. There was this feeling of, of yeah, we're upset. Um, there was a feeling of, but we can really do this. Like, we're think about how many games away. You know, you're like, we can really play in the teams that we beat to get here, you know. Uh, and what everybody thought about our team, and we said, you know what, no, we're, we're something else, you know. Um, there's, a, there's mixed feelings. Uh, a lot of hugs. Appreciate Yannick, what he said to me. Um, you know, Max, all the guys. I mean, just just the, what, what the brotherhood is it, just different, you know. And that's why I, I kept saying it'd be nice to go on a run with this team. Is is were we the most talented team in the world? No, probably not, you know. Uh, but this is the closest, best team I've ever been on, you know. And I, I have a lot of best friends that are on other team that were on other teams. But as a whole, I've never seen a team like this. And so um, it's you know, hey. I got your back. Let's move on. Uh, kind of similar to how we would come in every Monday, whether we won or lost. It was, hey, who cares next? If we won, great. Who cares next? We lost, care a little bit more <laughs> because it's over, but next. And this continually growth. Um, a lot of guys you see get to this point, and then they just fall off. You know, the work stops. It was so, so much work, and you fall short. It's either going to push you or drive the other way, and I think it's going to push this group. Um, there were so many flags, so many discussions. There's so much time on the field. Does that you know, have, you know, have it on the rhythm? Is there anything that caps up to the plan? Oh, and three of the holdings are on you on one drive. I, it's tough, you know. Um, I love that crew. It's nothing against them. They, they saw something. I'm, I don't see it. I got my back turned, you know. But, um, you know, those guys are awesome. But, you know, it sucks for it to be that way. You know, you'd rather just, you know, be the decision be made the field, you know, with the football. And uh, so it sucks, um, but I got nothing bad to say about the refs. I mean, they saw something, obviously. All right, guys, thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate y'all.